Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli. Thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who ordered the Tesla using my link and coming to you again from Manhattan, uh, Upper West Side, on the way to the George Washington Bridge. And today we're gonna to talk about some politics. Uh, just full disclosure, I am a registered independent. So I do not uh, affiliate with any political party. I vote on the issues. <laughs> not the person so but I'm going to focus about the um, the democratic um, um, the democratic primary uh, debates and, and candidates I'm going to focus on a couple of them in there and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to debate with you and discuss with you and your input in the comments will be uh, really helpful who is the best uh, democratic candidate to advance uh, green economy and uh, fight climate change just just because it happens and it's an extraordinarily tragic uh the fires in the amazon all man-made man-made done on purpose for all kinds of economical agricultural reasons uh it's just for you to know that uh, uh, the amazon uh, rainforest is responsible for absorbing a uh, 20 percent of the world's um the word CO2 emission and it's like the the, the lungs of, of, of the earth uh, and, and it is on fire emitting tremendous amount of, uh, of CO2 into the atmosphere actually I have a friend a very good friend we grew up we grew up at the same neighborhood two houses down uh, who lives in Sao Paulo and uh, the city is covered by smoke from 2,000 miles away that's unbelievable I don't know if you heard about it, but same thing, not maybe in the same magnitude, is happening in Siberia, which is melting, melting, and, and uh, uh, the fires there are tremendous. Uh, not to mention Greenland, who Trump wants to buy, <laughs> is melting. It's like, uh, it feels like somebody left the, the freezer door in the fr refrigerator open and went on a seven day vacation and the whole freezer is just melting. And that's what's gonna happen. So the thing is, who is the best uh, candidate uh, to really have a, sh a shot in combating uh, climate change? And I'm gonna mention three. This, it's just my opinion, because they are uh, very interesting. I, I would mention Jay Inslee, the um, governor of Colorado. Washington. Like I said, Washington State. My wife here, she's a history teacher. She knows everything. Uh, the governor of uh, Washington and he was running is a one single issue uh, a candidate and he just dropped out of the Senate of the race so that would be interesting so from the three that I want to mention is uh, Bernie Sanders like him or hate him he uh, released a 16 trillion dollar uh, uh, a plan uh, uh, that is one of the most aggressive uh, plans for the environment that ever that's anybody ever produced in writing and in, in like the, the objectives basically a uh, total and complete elimination of fossil fuels in all shapes of forms natural gas uh, oil gas everything done and out within a decade let's say uh, talk about uh, uh, replacing all gasoline cars with electric cars uh, it is a complete uh, all the production of electricity from renewable not only in the United States, but also uh, to make uh, to to make the United States leader here and around the world. Talking about 20 million new green jobs, very aggressive. You know, is is a little bit vague, and the math and his math doesn't add up of how he's going to pay for it, like all politicians. But if you take the money aside, you can't really because it's very it's the most important thing. It's a very aggressive plan. Uh, on the other hand. Uh, Joe Biden, who leads in all the polls for now, and you know, you know how it is in elections. The only poll is the that counts is the actual actual voting day. Uh, his his uh, plan, uh, he's a very realistic, pragmatic person. His plan is really more, um, you know, a mishmash. You know, cut and paste from all kinds of things that he probably heard of or probably been going on. Uh, I mean, when he was a vice president with Obama. <laughs> Uh, Obama always, always repeated the all of the above plan, which was, you know, almost a cop out. I mean, they did advance a lot of things, uh, especially with um, 
with the standards for fuel emission, I think it was 52 MPG miles per gallon standard by 2025, which Trump, of course, uh, took, uh, you know, uh, canceled it. The state of uh, the state of California just ha had a deal with Ford GM and somebody else, I forget, to uh, reinstate that standards in California, California, the biggest state in the in the union, with 30 million um, consumers. Uh, of course, Trump is livid about that, and that's in a, another time. But Joe Biden is like more of the same. He talks about electric car charging stations. He talks about uh, this initiative, that initiative, incentive. Nothing like comprehensive like Bernie Sanders uh, is proposing. But Bernie, Bernie Sanders ties to a lot of jobs, so it's a, a lot of economics, not just environment. He talks about the, the advantage and the uh, benefits to the economy that this will bring and the tax revenues that it will bring. Somewhere in between is the most intriguing candidate and don't discount him and that's Andrew Yang, Elon Musk's favorite. I did a video about him last week and he is really interesting. He talks a lot about AI, about AI jobs, uh, universal basic income or as he call it, um, What's he call it? Dividend. Freedom, dividend. freedom dividend, the freedom dividend, and all that. But he also talks a lot about the environment. He is for a single payer healthcare system. He is understanding that the new oil, the new oil or the new gold of our century is uh, information. Is the is the artificial intelligence and the search engines and and social medias and and Amazon and all that stuff. So let's take a penny out of every every cell that they make and give it to back to the people but in terms of um, uh, uh, environment and green initiatives he's also very aggressive but uh, he, I don't think that he put dollars and cents into this uh, his website however has opinion about everything I mean it's extraordinarily, extraordinarily comprehensive but I think Bernie Sanders put it in uh, like uh, chapter and verse really detailed of what he wants how much it's gonna cost and all that so uh, uh, if I had to if I had to choose if I have to vote if they are if they are my choices three choices who I vote I like Yang I really do I think he's so extraordinarily smart and cool and innovative and he's not he's not um, what you call um, capitalist or socialist is really uh, 21st centurists uh, completely and totally different than what we are used to what we grew up with in terms of left right you know black and white all those things that make America extraordinarily divided on so many issues what do you think who's your candidate if, if it's none of these three of them who do you think would be the best candidate to advance uh, green technology and fighting climate change. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow.